Metro 2024 fourth edition. We have with us Professor Dr. Mano Chaudhary, Vice Chancellor Gati Shakti Vishwavidyalaya. Sir, can you tell us about your insights and experience of Eno Metro 2024 fourth edition? I am particularly very happy and I, even in my presentation I commended the organizers of uh, fourth edition of InnoMetro uh, because the kind of sessions that focus not only on the technologies uh, and infrastructure for railways and the metro but also focused on sustain sustainability as a theme and also in, in the aspects of uh, the public funding uh, that may be needed or different funding models. So I'm really happy for that and want to thank the organizers for such a wonderful conference and exhibition. Sir, I would like to highlight your presentation topic that is skill development and building human resources for the metro, rail and transport sector. So can you elaborate briefly on that? Currently, the whole of India, as India uh, tries to become Vixit Bharat by 2047, the role of infrastructure and particularly transportation infrastructure including railways, metro, aviation, port, shipping, highways is very, very important. When the whole of the sector uh, is seeing unprecedented development, the people who are needed with highly specialized skills uh, are in great demand. In order to prepare such skills is why Gati Sakti Vishwadele was set up as a central university. All of our programs are industry driven and focuses on the infrastructure that is needed for the sector, management and technology aspects for that. So in the presentation you talked about a specific scholarship for female students. Yes. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, as we know, uh, the number of females in the entire transportation logistics sector is uh, quite low. In order to encourage more female members uh, to create an inclusive and diverse uh, workforce, there are two things that we are doing. Firstly, within Gati Sakti Vishwavidyalaya, from this academic year, August 2024 onwards, we have reserved 20% of seats across all the programs for female members. Secondly, many corporates are coming forward uh, to sponsor uh, female candidates. As an example, Siemens, one of the big infrastructure company in India, uh, has announced uh, that all female students who took admission uh, in the four-year Bachelor of Technology program in August 23 onwards, if their income is below a certain level, they will be sponsored for the entire duration of the program. Similarly, another corporates through their social uh, CSR scheme are coming forward to encourage more female members. And I'm very hopeful that if we make great effort, um, the, uh, this year, as you also know that uh, for the first time in the history of Indian Railways, we have uh, the chairperson of the railway board who is a female. Uh, therefore, days are not far off when uh, we will have a workforce which is very inclusive, very diverse and a stronger female participation at all levels across the transportation and logistics sector. So globally, the focus is on Indian market and the industrial sector. In this exhibition, we are also focusing on sustainability. So can you tell us how Gati Shakti Vishwadale is working towards achieving this sustainable development goals and uh, um, carbon, net carbon zero emission in the Indian railways and metro sector? As we know, India is one of the fast movers in terms of the uh, net zero targets and we have already announced that. India is not only a market. We have to understand that it is not that uh, people outside India, the countries will create technologies and products and deploy in India. India is evolving, India is becoming a Vixit Bharat because of what we are able to develop inside. That is the Atmanirbhar Bharat, that is the self-reliant Bharat. And therefore, a lot of technologies now we are developing inside India, uh, related to tech, uh, rail technology, even related to aviation space. Now we are going to have our manufacturing assembly plant for electronic manufacturing, for semiconductor manufacturing. India is becoming a technology powerhouse. It is not merely a market where, uh, which, where there is a large consumer base. First is that. Second, Gati Sakti Vishwedhalaya's uh, uh, concept from day one is that it is not merely a provider of education. If we have to provide and become a top education provider also, we must create new knowledge, we must assimilate new knowledge. Only when we remain at the top of the pack in terms of new knowledge creation from our university is how we will be able to develop India further. In that regard, our strategy is that we are becoming a technology test bed with many corporations. So several com big companies in infrastructure space are going to set up and in the process to set up center of excellence and laboratories at our institute uh, where we can uh, do this collaboration with industry, not in a giver-taker approach where industry gives and we take, but in a co-development approach where we can jointly develop many of the technologies. 
In fact, even fast five patents uh, that were granted last year in Gati Sakti Vishwavidyalaya, all of them were related to alternate fuel, thereby giving a lot more focus on the renewability as well as on sustainability. So lastly, I would like to ask you a special, uh, if you have any special message for all the delegates and government authorities present over here. My message is very simple that we can devise any action plan, any strategy, any, te any technology we can conceive, but it is the skilled people that, that will actually create the technology. Any country becomes economic superpower when it has enough knowledge and knowledge-based workers. So we have to create more new knowledge for the sector and for which Gati Sakti Vishwavidyalaya is committed to work across stakeholders, across government uh, departments. We are currently working with the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. We are working with Ministry of Ports, Shipping, Waterways. We are working with Ministry of Coal, which recently announced uh, coal logistics policy. We are working with Ministry of Education. We are working with many big corporates across sectors of railways, aviation, uh, ports, shipping, waterways, highways, so on. So we have to all work together. And in today's world, which is a much more interdependent world we have to, collaboration is uh, is not merely a choice it is essential and we have to work together to create uh, top class human resources which actually will transform the whole landscape of the transportation logistics in india thank you sir thank you so much for your time that was a great conversation thank you thank you sir.